This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a Minnesota State Arts Board Operating Support Grant, thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and a grant from the Wells Fargo Foundation, Minnesota. Hello, and welcome to the Schubert Club Music Museum Mini. My name is Toyan Spellman Diaz, and I play the beautiful oboe. The oboe makes it sound in a very mysterious way. We have this little thing here called the double reed. And the double reed is two pieces of wood put together with string and then some metal, a metal part here with some cork on it so that it will stay put once you put it back in the oboe. But the vibration or the sound that it's produced is made by me blowing in between these two pieces of wood, or cane, as, as it actually is. Cane is really what pandas eat, you know, those long stalks that people have in their gardens. Well, that's what this double reed is made out of. And listen to the sound of me blowing between them and the reeds vibrating against each other. sounds a little better when you take that vibration and stick it back onto the oboe. Let's see. I bet you're thinking, I don't have an oboe at home. How am I supposed to make those glorious sounds myself? Well, guess what? You can have your own kind of homemade oboe sounds. It's not going to be as gorgeous as this, but you will get something really fun. If you take a straw, a soft straw, boop, boop. And you have your parents cut two triangles to the, at the top. If you can see there are two triangles kind of sitting next to each other. And these two little triangles are gonna buzz and make a noise. Listen to this. Gorgeous, right? You two can do that at home. even if you didn't know that you knew the oboe, because the oboe is one of the most ancient instruments on the planet. It's just about as old as the flute, which is another ancient, another ancient instrument, but oboes were found in ancient caves in France, like cavemen had those kind of double reeds. I don't think they said, I think they sounded a little better than that straw, but they had double reeded instruments in caves in France from thousands and thousands of years ago. They were in India. The snake charmers played uh, ancient oboes. And you know what happened? The world got to be a smaller place when people started traveling around and colonizing different countries. And they took from those countries different instruments. And so the oboe was brought back to Europe and then it soon became one of the favorite things that kings and queens would play. King George? Yes? Would you like for the elbows to play for us for a while? You know, I was just thinking I could put down my tea and listen to some music. Okay, let's do it. After the orchestra, as we know it today, was invented, the oboe went from being a favorite of kings and queens to being a favorite of everyone. 
And now in the modern orchestra, the oboe is the instrument that tunes the rest of the instruments in the orchestra. That's because the oboe is a little bit fickle and it's just, it just needs, it, people need to tune to it as opposed to uh, it tuning to others. So when you're going to an orchestra concert, you'll see the first violinist or concert master stand up and look into the orchestra. He will be looking dead ahead at the oboe player right in the eye. And the oboe player looks at him, he looks at the oboe player or the, they may get the, the first A of the evening like this. And then everybody tunes to that and then the orchestra begins the concert. So that's a pretty important role. They kind of say the principal oboist of the orchestra is probably the second or third most important person in the whole orchestra after the conductor and the concert master. So way to go, oboe. And now I would like to play a little bit of the oboe just by itself the way it's played nowadays. I want to show you that the oboe can convey all sorts of different types of emotions. Now listen to this and I want you to think of a way or the kind of emotion that the oboe is trying to show with the music I'm about to play. It was my pleasure to play for you today the beautiful oboe. Please tune in to the other museum minis talking about the other instruments.